Well, so we've seen this and this. The first one's binary, and the second one's a data unit. That's all. If that wasn't enough, let's get into some basics. So to understand binary, you should probably know that a binary number uses base2 numeral system which uses symbols either 1 or 0. Counting in binary is actually really simple. So for example, in decimal counting, which is used by humans, you have 10 symbols from 0 to 9. So you count 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and when you get to 9, you don't have any more numbers. So you reset the rightmost digit, which is actually the first digit, and then you increment the digit to the left, and you start counting over again. So it will be 10, then 11, 12, and so on. The only difference between decimal counting and binary counting is that in decimal counting we have 10 numbers or symbols, and in binary counting we have 2 numbers or symbols. And the way of counting is exactly the same. Since now we understand what does it mean that bits use binary, we can get into some data units. A bit which can be 0 or 1 is represented as the letter B, and the byte, which is actually 8 bits, is represented with the capital letter B. In practice, this means that a byte is 8 zeros or 1s. Moving between these two is really important since we mostly use bytes, we don't really use bits unless it's your internet provider which wants money, so he just puts in bits because it looks like it's bigger number and yeah, it helps. Of course it does, yeah. So now we know bits and bytes. There's also nibble, which is half a byte or 4 bits, but since it's as important as me, we're not gonna waste the time with it. From now on we are gonna use the magic number. 1024, because we are in binary. So if someone tells you that a kilobyte is actually 1000 bytes, that's not exactly accurate since it's 1024. Even though we shouldn't really use like kilos since that's in decimal, we should use like kibi, that's the binary interpretation of kilo. But just for the sake of this video we're gonna use decimals. And don't tell anyone, please. You use kilobytes in day-to-day -day life, so you should know that it's 1024 bytes. A megabyte is 1024 kilobytes. Or we could also say... 1,048,576 bytes. I'm sure that you see megabytes somewhere in your daily life, since, for example, just a song might have 6 megabytes. A gigabyte is 1024 megabytes, or... 73,741,824 bytes. You might see gigabytes as well in day-to-day -day life since you use it, I mean, when you store in some movies or games or applications of some sort. 1 terabyte or 1024 gigabytes in bytes we could say 1,099,511,612,000 this is often used in hard drives or such these days. I mean, a few years back it wasn't really used. It's starting to be used in these days. One petabyte, which is 1024 terabytes, or in bytes we could again say... One quadrillion, one hundred and twenty-five trillion, eight hundred and ninety-nine billion, nine hundred and six million, eight hundred and forty-two thousand, six hundred and twenty-four. It is often believed that in the year 2000 we had like 8 petabytes of data on the whole internet. I'm not sure, but that's like the approximation. An exabyte or 1024 petabytes in bytes. 1 quintillion, 152 quadrillion, 921 trillion, 504 billion, 606 million, 846,976. If we would collect all the things that humans said during the existence of Earth, we would maybe get like 5 exabytes of information. 1 zettabyte is 1024 exabytes. Or we could also say... 1 sextillion, 180 quintillion, 591 quadrillion, 620 trillion, 717 billion, 411 million, 303,424. I'm getting bored of this. Okay, one yottabyte, which is 1024 zettabytes in bytes.
is 1 septillion 208 sextillion 925 quintillion 819 quadrillion 614 trillion 629 billion 174 million 706 thousand 176 you might think when you have this much storage you could store literally anything well i mean you still couldn't store my ex so <laughs> what are you doing an educational video about data units exactly you were supposed to make it educational and not boring what about the made joke about my ex that's not funny that's sad i'm ashamed of you go give them the summary and then i'm going to well we've had some issues but now we're good now we're good so data units is Basically just some units like meters, centimeters and just stuff you use in day-to-day -day life. Now you know what numbers are there. If you watch the video, I know you didn't since I wouldn't do it, but um, let's just say you did. And here I'll leave you the table so you can check it again. And I mean, it's, it's just information. You don't really get anything from knowing this. You can't be so honest to everyone about everything. I've had enough of this. I'm going to turn you off.